there is a fundamental structural change that is underway uh, that has to do with new technologies and that has to do with climate change. And China is spearheading that um, structural transformation by actually starting very early. You know, part of the success for EVs and solar panels is that they started much earlier than a lot of the Western economies did. China's rise, because of the global supply chain, has also pulled up the economic development of many of the neighboring developing countries. And it's going to be the same with EVs and with the renewables actually involving more advanced economies. So to give you an example, I think this is a very important example to, to make note of, China is investing heavily in Europe directly, setting up plants and factories on batteries and EV platforms, and whether it's Poland or Spain setting up joint ventures with EV, taking advantage of China's technology now. The table has completely flipped um, to launch their own uh, EVs and EV platforms. So this is a collaboration. 45 million EV vehicles needed by 2040 to keep us on track of the green transition. Um, trillions of dollars of investment that's needed. China's going to play a very essential role.